Danny, welcome to Barnet. You must be delighted to get a deal over the line. Yeah, delighted. So, as you said, just happy to get it all sorted and um, looking forward to, to getting to work now. Dover was a tough season last season, um, but you must have grown from that. I'm sure it's given you strength. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, um, I think it was uh, wasn't a hidden, more well, wasn't a secret that we had a difficult season. Um, uh, but like you said, um, I learned a lot from it, um, gained a lot of valuable experience, um, built a lot of resilience, um, and got exposure to a great league and, and a tough and competitive league. So um, it's all going to stand me in good stead moving forward. You've had great experience at League One and League Two with MK Dons and Colchester. Obviously, that must give you some confidence coming into this league and cementing yourself at Barnet Football Club. Yeah, definitely. I've got um, some good exposure with some with some great clubs. So um, MK Dons being the club I, I grew up with um, and sort of ingrained um, a sort of style of play into me and sort of built me as the footballer I am today. Um, and Colchester was a, a club that facilitated my um, my move back to back to England as when I came from over from Germany. So. Yeah, both two great clubs that have, that have done a lot for me, really. Tell us a little bit about your time at Stuttgart. Obviously, a very well-known up there club in Germany. Yeah, I moved over to Germany when I was sixteen. Got the opportunity to go out and um, experience, um, you know, German football. What that had to offer um, did a lot for me personally as a, as, as a person, um, but grew me immensely as a footballer as well, technically and tactically. You know, they're so, so astute out there. Um, Love, love detail, etc. So that sort of like, like MK Don Stuttgart played a massive role in my development as a player, um, and I'm looking forward to sort of showcasing that sort of that European sort of sort of style that I have in me, um, and, and moulding that into what is you know a tough physical league. So um, yeah, that Stuttgart was it was a great experience, and I learned a lot from it. You've got numerous caps for England at youth level. That yeah. must give you so much confidence as a player yeah I mean when you I've had exposure playing at the highest level when I was young playing against the best players um, at that age so um, it's, it's no it, it gives me confidence it's not a direct transfer to men's football it's a completely different ball game but um, like you say it gives me immense confidence and I know that defensively that I can I can combat um, you know many a player that comes up against me so what sort of player are you? I was talking to Dean earlier and he said you're very quick, you're a good reader of the game, great in one-on-one -on -one situations. Do you think he's a... I think he's, he's probably hit the nail on the head. I, I love defending. Um, I love 1v1 duels is what I thrive off. I love that um, being being exposed in, in certain cases where I can control that situation and sort of dominate, not just physically, but sort of mentally as well, sort of reading the game. Um, trying to outwit my opponents that's that's the sort of player I am it's defensively on the ball um, I like to progress the play I like to help the team move up the pitch um, efficiently effectively um, and feel like I, I can offer a lot going forward as well with my range of passing so that's um, what you can expect to see from me um, you know, over the course of the season, next two years hopefully What sort of conversations have you been having with Dean in the build up to you putting pen to paper? Um, so I spoke to him towards the back end of last season and he showed a real keen interest in me and um, he laid down the, the sort of the goals and the aspirations of the club moving forward and when he started speaking about those goals it was kind of it fell directly in line with sort of my my vision and my ambitions of what I want to achieve in the next couple of years and I think that was um, the positive most positive thing that came out of those conversations was that um, Dean's extremely ambitious um, and I like that because I think you have to be ambitious if you want to get to to where we want to, where this club wants to get to. So I think that's great. And what are your personal goals? I want to play at the highest level possible, and I'll, hopefully I can help this club push up into to the League One and and go from there. Um, League Two first, um, and go from there. So, but you know, that's my goals are to play as high as possible. Um, you know, play against the best players win the biggest competition I think if we focus just on this season I think playoffs are definitely should be a goal for this club minimum so um, yeah and then for me 
to that as a team and then for me it's just play as many games as possible contribute as much as possible um, contribute at the, the top end of the pitch as well which I did towards the back end of last season so um, yeah that's what that, those are my goals I'd say and just finally a message for the Bees fans who I'm sure will be very happy to see you signed for Barnet uh, I guess I'm looking forward to seeing them all at the start of the season and, and hopefully um, you know my performances on the pitch can, can do them proud Fantastic. Thank you, Danny, for your time and best of luck for the 22-23 campaign. Thank you very much. Cheers.